Kevin here. What we're doing today is showing you how you can use one of our ice lens concave screens for 3D. And we've got the fluorescent lights on here, and we've got one of the fantastic Optima 3D projectors, the HD33. And so uh, we've just been having a look at here, and we really can't fault the picture, in fact, um, which is uh, pretty good news. Given that it's a home theatre grade projector, so this is not a projector you're going to have to mortgage your house for or um, go and get an extra job, it's um, pretty standard, but you can get 3D using the active classes. So we'll just have a little look at the projectors here as well. You won't really be able to see the 3D effect of what we're seeing, and because of the, the brightness that's coming off the screen and the sensitivity of the camera, you're not going to really see the, uh, the brilliance in terms of the contrast, the colour quality and the depth of colour on the screen, but we'll give you a bit of an impression of it. And for the record, you can see on this video that this is actually real and will work and will deliver a fantastic experience, whether it's at home, in an expo, or in the classroom. Okay, so we're looking at the projector here now, which is a reasonable sort of size. Um, got the events on the side and, and so forth. It's a manual focus and zoom. And so just tell us a little bit about this um, projector here, Simon. Okay, so the HD33 comes with the RF emitter. Okay, so this is the device here. Device. And so, and so those five lights mean that it's all operating. Yep, and, and it's, it's all operating. And it's seeing the glasses. Correct, correct. Right. And it also comes with one pair of active 3D glasses. Okay, and so obviously um, more... Uh, more glasses are available, available as, as, well. as well, yeah. Yeah, that will stop the arguments. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Good for the whole thing. Now I can see when I'm looking at the glass here, and I don't know if we can really pick it up on the camera, but I can see the this lens here has actually got a very high fast frequency. So obviously what's happening communicating with this device here is it actually is the way it's actually working is delivering a picture to one eye, then the next eye at a very, very high speed. And when our brain sees that, it actually believes that we're looking at a 3D image on a flat 2D screen, Correct. which is um, pretty remarkable how we can trick the eye to see stuff. And so what have we got around the back here? So so that um, this emitter here, that plugs straight into the output of the projector here. And uh, we've got our other connectors here, so we've got a, an HDMI obviously. Now, to nowadays being able to run HDMI coming straight off a Blu-ray output player on one cable. That, that's the remarkable thing now that um, we're able to do it just on one cable. And we've got our other standard ones here of composite component and um, the VGA. And obviously ideal for control systems. We've got an RS-232 there which is uh, just what you need if you're putting it into a home and using a fancy uh, control system. And so the, the, the glasses themselves you, you, Obviously, we're not going to really be able to see anything, but what you will see, in fact, that's quite interesting because if I just move the glasses out, but if I bring the glasses up, because of the uh, neutral density factor of the lenses, it actually gives us a, an, e an image that's actually a lot easier to view uh, through the camera, and you can see it's now not washing out, um, but obviously it's not 3D, and you will notice there is a slight blur uh, on the recorded Im image here because of the fact that there's two images being overlaid at the same time that's coming down the HDMI cable and when our brain looks at it without the 3D glasses on as you might be able to see there it's actually recording it as um, we see like two images overlaid so if I just go up real close to that put the glasses down and you'll be able to pick that up so you can see here where are we you can see the image is an overlap, which is normally what you would expect to see on today's technology of uh, 3D. But when we put those glasses on here, these ones here, then the image is looking pretty remarkable. And that's what I'm going to do now. So as I'm now watching this, I'm watching this in quite nice 3D. Some of that very fast action is um, a little bit difficult to sort of comprehend. Um, but it's certainly on the um, static shots and shots where there's a lot of depth and where the camera's been um, 
recording a lot of uh, close action and uh, objects in the foreground and certainly when there's objects in the in the rear so shots like that there which normally in 2d are difficult and there he goes are difficult to see anyway even on 2d but a shot like that gives us quite nice depth from the um the start line there uh, back into the uh, looks like the graveyard in the in the background um, is giving us all quite nice 3d so i think we've got a real good solution here um, for exhibitors uh, and schools but particularly for exhibitors because typically when you're exhibiting in an expo you're, you're spending a lot of money to get um, prepared to get the gear there to get your, your your stand booked and so forth and you want as many technologies as possible to actually stop people in their tracks and actually give you 10 minutes of their time as everyone else is vying for their attention so we think we've got a perfect solution here and and the fact that we have a screen that you really don't need to make uh set up in a dark room means that um that makes your stand design so much more attractive to view and to visit and just be part of here this is a re this is a very good 3d we can see the gentleman here in the foreground and we can see that depth of background very nice so the issue that you should just be informed about is that if I'm wearing glasses like this here and want to wear the new styled Optima 3D active glasses there's actually not a problem I didn't find it difficult at all to put them on and to view the content so if you are wearing glasses um, that um, hesitation you might have about oh, hold on I'm wearing glasses you know are they going to work well I can vouch that they do and obviously um, just wearing them normal uh, works fine Not an issue.